remember what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? I saw a video of rapper 2 Chains in Dubai complaining about being searched by security at the airport. The source of the complaint? He smelled like weed. 2 Chains was very, very adamant that he did not appreciate being bust down in their quest to find marijuana on his persons. So he goes to Dubai knowing he smells like weed. He admitted it. Yeah, I smell like weed, but I ain't got nothing on me, man. You searching me, man. What you searching me for? That's like a killer saying, yeah, I got blood all over me, but that don't mean y'all got to be searching me because y'all looking for a killer. Come on, man. You know, it's the old saying, when in Rome, do as the Romans, right? Which simply translates into understanding that when you go to a different country, they have their own set of rules. Remember the American had went to North Korea and he stole the propaganda art and he came back to the U.S., all frail and on his deathbed and eventually died. Those people do things differently in their country. You can't expect every country to comply to U.S. standards. You're supposed to adapt to a country's culture, not the other way around. When you go visit, a different country, you're supposed to adapt to them. It's not the other way around. Some of those countries out there will do you dirty if you are caught with drugs. Just marijuana. If you go to like places like Indonesia, Malaysia, uh, Japan, the Philippines, uh, United Arab Emirates, man, you will find yourself in a heap of trouble over the smallest trace of marijuana. In the Philippines, if you get caught the first time, they'll give you uh, like six months in jail. If, you, if you're bold enough to try it again, they'll give you, you may get six to 10 years, I mean, six to 12 years. And the United Arab Emirates, they are the absolute worst when it comes to marijuana. You can get caught up in Dubai, like where they were, just on some poppy seeds, you end up in prison. Those people are very, very serious about marijuana. They're very serious about punishing people over marijuana. And I'm especially in Dubai, which is in, in the United Arab Emirates. It is mad how they treat people who smoke marijuana. The smallest trace. I mean, the smallest trace. If you get caught with marijuana in um, Dubai, United Arab Emirates, we're talking four years minimum prison. Four years minimum prison. And if you get caught like trying to move large amounts, we're talking the death penalty. The death penalty for marijuana. A small trace of marijuana in your blood in Dubai can get you a possession charge. And I'm talking about if it shows up, they don't even have to have it on you. You don't have to have it physically. It can just be in your blood. In your blood, uh, it can be in your urine. And you can end up going to prison 
for possession. That's how serious they are. I know a lot about Dubai because me and my family have visited there many, many, many times over the years. And you have to know the culture when you go visit. You going out to this vacation and it's all good and maybe you don't come over there with marijuana or smelling like marijuana. Maybe you get there and you're in a bar and somebody walk up to you and say, hey, wanna try this? And you thinking, oh man, yeah, getting high in another country, that's cool. Mess around and don't come back home. You gotta be very careful. When I first moved to Azerbaijan, I, I think it was the first, it was, it was probably my first week there. Yeah, it was within the first week and it was hot. I had some shorts on. So throughout the day I was moving around and people were staring and, and some people were laughing. I'm thinking they're staring, you know, I'm used to people staring because they didn't have hardly any black people there when I first moved out there. So I'm thinking, they're laughing and they're staring and some of them are laughing because, you know, they just ain't got good home training. So, and they're, they're laughing. So my kid's mom come home in the evening and she, I tell her about my day. You know, she tell me about her day. I tell her about my day. And she said, did you have those on? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. She said, Willie, you uh, cannot wear stuff like that around here. If you are a male and you wear shorts, they think you're gay. So they're laughing at me because they think I'm gay. So if you think people in America are homophobic, you don't know anything. Go visit Azerbaijan. You'll see a whole different world. They don't get on like that. So yeah, they're laughing at me the whole time. I'm moving around because I got these shorts on and they think I'm gay. So I just wanted to drop this video on y'all real quick and just remind you guys, when you're traveling abroad, make sure you understand the cultural norms in that country. Make sure you understand what the customs are, what the laws are in that country. Understand the rules because if you don't, you can find yourself in some big time trouble. My cousin got caught up with a, some pills. He had a prescription with his name on it, the label and everything, and he ended up in jail for like seven days in Dubai. That's how they rock out there. So you better make sure if you have some pills with your name on it or whatever, that's not enough. You got to have a prescription from the doctor. Make sure you understand what the rules are before you visit a different country. Someone said 2 chains should not have went to Dubai in the first place because they're racist. I personally don't know of a place anywhere in the world that a black American could not go and experience some form of racism. America has done that good of a hit job on our image. And having said that, I'm sure there is some racism in Dubai, although I've never faced any personally. There has to be. Common sense will tell you that. But compared to America, Dubai is a teardrop, and America is the ocean. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?